Hi there, my name is PJ Lynch. I'm a book illustrator and I'm very proud to have illustrated this book, Patrick and the President, written by... Me. I'm Ryan Tuberty. I'm PJ's sidekick. <laughs> and uh, together uh, with uh, my words and a bit of a story about this great visit to Ireland by President Kennedy, PJ has turned it into something beautiful. And that's why we're here to talk today. Well, some years ago I wrote a book about President Kennedy's visit to Ireland in 1963. And at that time Ireland was like a black and white movie. There was no colour, there was no fun. And when President Kennedy arrived, the plane door opened and out he came. And it was like somebody emptied a rainbow onto the ground because he was so colourful. And everyone went, wow, look at him. And they still talk about how amazing he looked, his teeth and his hair and his skin. And he was like a rock star. And it had a huge impact on, on our country, in Ireland. And with this story, uh, thanks to the good people at Candlewick, they decided, why don't you try and tell the story of the visit, but through the eyes of a child. And I like childhood. I was one, a child, years ago. And I really enjoyed being there. And so it wasn't an impossible request to be a child again, because I'm quite immature. Um, it's arrested development, it's called. But, but it was working for me. And I went down to this little town and and spoke to people who were now older but who were children at the time and I asked them to relive their memories and I took notes of that and I've put all of that sort of thing into the book and there's a little boy called Patrick and the whole point is will Patrick get to meet the president or not? There are a couple of near misses and then at the end, will he or won't he? Now it's not going to take a genius to guess what <laughs> happens but the point and the fact that matters the punchline is cracked on the cover of the book. However, uh, the writing thing was fine they then introduced me to this wonderful illustrator, PJ Lynch, who I've met before, because he's, he's a, an Irish guy, one of the most respected illustrators of children's books on the planet. And they said, would you like to um, work with PJ? And I said, it would be an, an honor. And he's breathed beautiful life into my simple words. It was a, a lovely project for me. It had everything that I, that I really like in a book, a brilliant story, a bit of history, and, uh, and and Ryan was involved as well, so that was that was a treat. How much do I? Wish I pay you now. For <laughs> I had tried this picture from numerous angles, and it was a very important one where he finally gets to meet Kennedy, and uh, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. I was getting lots in. I was showing what was on the table and all these different things. So um, it was only when I came down low and looked up at the face that it started to really sort of work for me and we, you know, we're seeing the thing from Patrick's point of view. This is a, a different one looking down, but we're getting in close and we're seeing just the backs of people's arms and legs. And again, that's sort of what the child point of view, I think. And this is a scene where he finds a little, a little space in the kitchen. And it was nice for me to have been to that kitchen and to see what the chairs were like and to, you know and then I had to do research for for what the dresses and, and uh, suits would have been like but uh, when I start any project I, I get stuck into research and it makes me feel really sort of comfortable with it uh, at the next stage and in, often involves there's a lot of drawing and then when I'm getting my compositions they're coming good then I start working with models and I start looking for people who look appropriate to the era, and I, <laughs> so I was thinks... just thinking that Ryan was probably one of the people who m most looked like he was from that era. I have an old-fashioned head, <laughs> and it's the only one I have, and PJ spotted that and he put me in as a reporter here, yeah. and he very kindly put my daughter, my youngest daughter in, and that's his daughter, PJ's Evie. Yeah, yeah. His little world, you know, was all about mm doing the job. He had one job and he wanted to do it right. In, in many respects, this cake for Patrick was his, you know, as important as the Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, this, <laughs> was he gonna, I mean, look at him cutting it on one slice, two slices. God, I hope I get six out of this, three <laughs> slices, four slices. And then he goes, now he's holding the plate. And then Kennedy's in the corner, he's going, oh, just, I missed him yeah. back at the thing. And when I get near him, you know? And I think, you know, anyone who's been a child, you just realize that, it's enormous, but we dismiss it because we, we, we're adults and we just go, oh, look, it's just a cake. No, it's not. It's like it's a planet on a plate. To see him on a screen is another thing, but to see him in the flesh and the fact that he's, he's the president of the United States of America and he's called Kennedy. He's Irish. He's, he's Catholic. He's, he's, he's one of ours. 
And uh, that sense of ownership, if you talk to people from the time, they'll say that they really felt uh, a mutual admiration and love uh, and respect. And that they say that, that that awful moment when only months later, don't forget it was June, and then November, assassination. And people in Ireland say that the cloud over that island was as profound as any effect it would have. It was like a family, a death in the family. They talk about the sense that um, not just a president died, but hope died. People felt they were on the cusp of something great, a new frontier. You know, the torch had been passed and they felt, let's go for it. Civil rights, you know, women's rights, all these things that they felt could go somewhere. It was cut down, you know, for what and why? And, and uh, so the impact was huge. Uh, and, um, you know, and, and one of the reasons I hope this book is picked up by kids is that they'll read the story and go, that's cute. A kid, a cake, a Kennedy. Nice. But what I really hope they'll do is then go, I'd like to learn more. And then whoa, a whole new world opens up and they're in business.